those guys were 44. Pretty good young players. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot more to come from those guys. Uh, have a good day, everybody. Good morning. Today, a nation on edge. After El Paso and Dayton, will Washington take action to break the cycle of gun violence? Plus, Senator Cory Booker takes on the tough questions and the powerhouse roundtable on the race to 2020. Today on ABC's This Week with George. Are you taking Cialis or Viagra? Marley Drug has generics of both for just $12 per tablet. That's a savings of over $60 per dose. Order yours now at 1-800-711-1610. Marley Drug is an independent pharmacy delivering generic Cialis and Viagra to your door for $12 per tablet. Call Marley Drug at 1-800-711-1610. That's 1-800-711-1610. 1-800-711-1610. -1 Why do you need fast, reliable internet so your world doesn't turn upside down? Turn it around. Switch to Spectrum. And give your family what they deserve. Switch to Spectrum Internet for just $44.99 a month with free moto. Call 1-833-624-4499. With starting speeds of 200 megabits, you'll be able to connect your devices at the same time and with no data caps. Spectrum Internet has the fastest, most consistent download speeds based on the latest FCC report. AT&T can't say that. And with Spectrum TV, you get over 125 channels with free HD and free on demand. Plus, you get the free Spectrum TV app to stream your favorite shows and movies in and outside your home. Switch to Spectrum TV for just $44.99 a month. Call 1-833-624-4499. And no contract. Call and switch to Spectrum Internet and TV for just $44.99 a month each. Spectrum will even buy out your current contract up to $500. Call 1-833-624-4499. Turn your world around. Call now. Alaska Airlines offering the most nonstop flights between Hawaii and the West Coast. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now on Good Morning Hawaii, a crash on the Valley Isle leaves one person dead this morning and a road closed on the west side of Maui. We'll have the very latest. Plus, Native Hawaiians getting a chance at more than a dozen plots from Hawaiian homelands in Waimanalo, how the state is working to get thousands off the DHHL waiting list. And after tide and record-breaking temperatures this summer across Oahu, how will the heat be affected now that El Nino is over? That is the big question. It's been a hot one. Good morning, Hawaii. Thanks for joining us for Hawaii's only weekend morning newscast. Happy Sunday. I'm Tom George. And I'm Tasia Worley. Le'u'i Kaho'okula has the morning off. But we do begin now with breaking news overnight on Oahu, where one man is in critical condition after a car crash in Pearl City. It happened in the area of Komomai Drive and Amanu Street around 8.30 last night. Honolulu police say that a 74-year-old man was driving on Komomai Drive when he hit an 87-year-old old man pedestrian who was also crossing the street the victim was not in a marked crosswalk at the time and was later taken to the hospital in critical condition and according to officials speed drugs and alcohol do not appear to be factors at this time and also happening overnight a man suffered serious injuries after he was stabbed in his lower and upper body in Kalihi emergency medical services say it all happened at Aala Park on North King Street around 9 o'clock last night Paramedics treated him on scene and they later took him to a trauma hospital. On Maui, a person is dead this morning after a car crash on Honua Pi'ilani Highway Saturday. Maui 24-7 reports that it happened on the west side of the island and shut down the road for two hours. At last checked, Maui Police Department was unable to release details on the crash. Maui Police blocked the road from Papalaua Wayside Park to Ukumehame Firing Range shortly after 6. The road was opened two hours later. And sticking with Maui, Maui police need your help finding a missing man. You see him right there, Paulson McComer. He's also known as Skip or Skippy. He was reported missing on Friday. Police say his family has not seen him since 2007 and, he, and that he was homeless. McComer is 59 years old and is last known to have black and gray hair. He's also described as 5 foot 9 with brown eyes and tattoos. Anybody with any information on where he might be should call Maui police. That number 244-6400. And it's official. We are out of an El Nino weather pattern for the Pacific Ocean. But as KTV4's Nicole Tam explains, that doesn't mean that our hot weather will be going away anytime soon.
It's been a hot and humid summer here in Hawaii, and some residents are ready for relief. Two hours in the sun, and that's it. You got to go home already because it's too hot out there. August and September is the hottest months to me, you know, so I, I guess we, we in for some more hot weather as the, as the days goes on. The waters around the state are warmer than normal, helping to fuel these hot summer days. But across the Pacific, water temperatures have been dropping. That will transition into Hawaii's waters eventually. The National Weather Service determined the Pacific has shifted from the El Nino season to a neutral weather pattern. El Nino, we go above normal for our turf sea surface temperatures. That's one of the things that we see out of El Nino here. Uh, and during La Nina, we would see the opposite. It would go um, cooler than normal. That could turn into good news with more wind and fewer tropical cyclones as our ocean surface temperature cools down. But the Central Pacific Hurricane Center warns us not to let our guards down as we are still in the middle of hurricane season and we are expecting another three to six cyclones around our waters. Just because El Nino is over doesn't mean that the bathtub of water of the Pacific cools down instantly. And so we still have 80 plus temperatures uh, in the waters surrounding Hawa um, the islands and to the south of the islands where we would just expect tropical cyclones to develop. The Central Pacific hurricane season runs through November 30th. We're just getting into the peak months of the season. That's August and September. Nicole Tam, KITV4 Island News. I know, it has been crazy. I moved here from Vegas three months ago, and I feel like I brought, brought the heat with yes, me. Yes, you did. Thanks a lot. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, uh, turning now to your weekend forecast, speaking of, like you said, breaking records across the islands right now, there's the sun coming up here on Oahu, but man, 96 in Maui the other day, mm -hmm. uh, Kauai also seeing some records. Is that going to stay or is it going to get some relief finally? We're going to continue to see higher temperatures, and as you can see, our waters are also still above average, or our surface temperatures on our, our sea temp temperatures are also pretty above average so that's going to also continue to fuel those storms while we are still in hurricane season now closer to the islands 83 more so in the eastern pacific 89 you need 80 to fuel those systems we're still continuing to track these three disturbances here and again just a great reminder to get prepared and stay prepared our current temperatures right now already 80 degrees for our kaneohe and we'll continue to see a forecast highs up to 91 for both honolulu and kahului today and taking a look at what it looks like outside some of this cloud cover is actually adding to our humidity levels as well as giving us some little extra moisture we are continuing to see the temperatures at 78 feeling like 80 and then north northwesterly winds that's the relief helping cut through the heat but as you can see the relative humidity percentages pretty high. We still have a lot of cloud coverage, a lot of moisture circulating our Hawaii Island, starting off with a lot of showers this morning. And we do have this system just north, about 200 miles of our Kauai. That's still interrupting the wind pattern just a bit for our Kauai. So temperatures will feel even warmer within the 90s for the western half, about 87 for the eastern half. We'll still have a lot of sunshine throughout the day, but again, just expect very humid conditions and passing showers, especially for your windward and Malka areas. Coming up, we'll go island by island Island, taking a look at your hourly forecast. But for now, Tom, over to you. Sounds good. Thanks, Tasia. Well, dozens of Native Hawaiians came out Saturday to bid for plots of land from the Department of Hawaiian Homelands. The department offered 15 vacant lots in Waimanalo's Kaka'ina subdivision. Homesteaders who received a plot of land say they're excited to build a home there. DHHL still has 1,300 more plots that they're preparing to offer up over the next five years. And homeowners can learn how to budget, design, plan, build, and remodel projects at the Home Building and Remodeling Show event. That's happening today. The event begins at 9.30 this morning. It's over at the Blaisdell Exhibition Hall. Participants can find inspiration from hundreds of displays at the show, attend some seminars, talk with construction and design experts. General admission for that is $8, but seniors 60 year, uh, years old and up can get in for just $2 as long as you have a valid ID. And hundreds packed the Alamoana Center stage Saturday for its milestone anniversary. The state's largest mall turned 60 on Tuesday. And even Governor David Ige came out to say happy birthday. When the shopping center opened in 1959, it was the largest shopping center in the U.S. with just over 680,000 square feet of retail space and 87 merchants. But in the last six decades, it sure has grown. It now has 2.4 million square feet of retail space and more than 350 stores and restaurants.
Ala Moana at 60 years old is one of the older shopping centers, but it is also one of the most successful shopping centers, not just in the United States, but in the world. So although those of us who live and work here think like this is our local mall, it is very significant in the world of shopping centers. Day also wrote a commemorative book about the mall, which features a cover photo that shows what the land looked like before it was built. And thousands of people were in Kaka'ako last night for the yearly Korean festival. It's one of the largest cultural festivals in Hawaii and shares the food, the music, the dance, and the culture of the land of the morning calm. There was also a talent contest, handcrafted products for sale, and of course, Korean food. There's a um, uh, eating contest, uh, kimchi eating, and jajangmyeon is a black bean sauce eating contest. It's always so very popular. You, know, you have to see that. I missed out on that one. I could eat kimchi all day. That, <laughs> that event hosted by the Korean Chamber of Commerce, and all proceeds go towards scholarships. Now I'm hungry. I know, right? Thank you. <laughs> and new additions to a few East Oahu schools this back-to-school season. Thanks to some helping hands, your morning shakas are next. And many stepping up during this weekend's fundraisers for nonprofits supporting heart and brain health. Those stories and more all coming up. Time now, 6.09. You're watching Good Morning Hawaii. Aloha, I'm Kalepa Baibayan, an active participant in Avoiding Revival. And for the past 44 years, I've been a crew member, a captain, a navigator on board Hawaii's iconic voyaging canoes. As a native Hawaiian, I believe Manaki is a deeply spiritual place. There is more than enough room for people to have their own practice, cultural practice, scientific research. We just need to have the collective will to share the mauna. We know it takes money to go to college. Most people think a huge amount of money, but it can cost a lot less than you think. Did you know tuition at a four-year UH campus can start at under $8,000 a year? And tuition for a community college is only about $3,500 a year. Plus in Hawaii, over $70 million in scholarships and grants are awarded to help students go to college. So maybe you should invest in yourself. Go to college is within reach Hawaii.com. After I really looked around and saw Hawaii and its people for what it was, I couldn't think of living anyplace else. Personal injury is what we do. We help people recover compensation for their personal injury claims. We're going to take care of everything. All you have to do is worry about getting better. At Recovery Law Center, our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you. Mothers at Kaiser Permanente have an amazing amount of choices. Our goal is to provide women with the best childbirth experience that they can have. Occasionally, we do have some newborns who need help. That's when the neonatal intensive care unit comes in. We have babies who are born at less than a pound. We are equipped to take care of them. We are there for you at every step of the way. When they go home, the joy that I see in that family, it's what I live for, and that's why I do what I do. Time now, 611, and it's time for our morning shakas. Oh, you got it. You're pretty uptight. I, I throw it like this. <laughs> uh, today, we're recognizing a group of volunteers who spent their Saturday morning beautifying an East Oahu public school. Yeah, that's right. Volunteers from the YMCA, Pasha Hawaii, and Hawaii Stevedores spent their weekend building guard be garden beds at Waimanalo Elementary and Intermediate School. Almost a dozen plots are now ready to grow native Hawaiian plants, which the schools will use for sustainability, nutrition, and community service programs throughout the year. Pretty cool. And a big fundraiser in Waikiki raised money for two charities yesterday. The 2019 Oahu Heart Walk was hosted by the American Heart Association, the world's largest nonprofit that supports heart and brain health. In addition to getting some exercise, people could get free blood pressure, glucose, and cholesterol screenings, learn about strokes, CPR, and more. Participants were also encouraged to bring a donation for the Hawaii Food Bank. And just down the street, even more people lacing up their shoes for a Lea Lea charity run. The 5K race for kids and adults was held over at Ala Moana Beach Park. All the proceeds from the entry fees for that and the silent auction will go to nonprofits. And an abused dog made her first public appearance since her story came to light a month ago. Come on in. 
So you can see cheers erupted from the crowd as Lealoha the dog and her new owner walked through the doors of Aloha Affordable, a veterinarian service in Aiea yesterday. This is what the pit bull looks like today, happy and healthy, and this these pictures that you see is what she looked like a month ago when she was found buried in sand at Lualua Beach Park. The story went viral and hundreds of people asked to adopt her. The group that treated her also opened a new clinic yesterday and say the dog exceeded their expectations on her healing. We we're all pretty shocked seeing what Leo Aloha looked like and I don't think any one of us would have predicted she would look and be the dog she is today. This takes a little bit of love, right? And Honolulu police opened an animal cruelty case, but right now they still have no suspects. The vet clinic reminds people that while Leia Aloha may be the one getting all the attention right now, of course, their most famous client, you got to remember there are lots of other rescued animals who also need a loving home. They say they've had thousands of rescues in the past year. I just can't get over this story. She is just so cute. So beautiful. And again, a lot of love can go a long way. And light trades continue this Sunday, but even more easterly winds will pick up for your next work week. We'll have your full weather forecast coming up next. Plus, Hawaii once again will be represented over at the Little League World Series. Uh, time for a team on Maui to make those travel plans for Williamsport, Pennsylvania. Cody Krupp will have more coming up on KITV4 Island Sports. Time now, 613. We'll be right back. Slumber World, your destination for the best selection in brand name beds to help you get the good night's sleep you deserve. It's the Everything Sleep Sale, happening now at Slumber World. At Slumber World, you'll find everything you need for the best sleep of your life. Brand name beds from Serta Eye Comfort, Beauty Rest and Beauty Rest Black, Tempur-Pedic, and more. Plus, get a free bed frame or $100 off accessories to enhance your sleep. Everything you need to get your best night's sleep is happening now. The Everything Sleep Sale at Slumber World, your locally owned mattress store, serving all of Hawaii. Managing type 2 diabetes? Audrey's on it. Eating right? On it. Staying active? On it. Audrey thinks she's doing all she can to manage her type 2 diabetes and heart disease, but is her treatment doing enough to lower her heart risk? Maybe not. Jardians is the number one prescribed pill in its class. Jardians can reduce the risk of cardiovascular death for adults who also have known heart disease. That means Jardians can help save your life from a heart attack or stroke. Plus, Jardians lowers A1C, and it can help you lose some weight. Jardians can cause serious side effects, including dehydration, genital yeast or urinary tract infections, and sudden kidney problems. Ketoacidosis is a serious side effect that may be fatal. A rare but life-threatening bacterial infection in the skin of the perineum could occur. Stop taking Jardians and call your doctor right away if you have symptoms of this bacterial infection, ketoacidosis, or an allergic reaction. Do not take Jardians if you are on dialysis or have severe kidney problems. Taking Jardians with a sulfonylurea or insulin may cause low blood sugar. Lower A1C and lower right risk up. of a fatal heart attack? On it with Jardians. Ask your doctor about Jardians, the type 2 diabetes pill that's on it. Learn more at Jardians.com. Summer's not stopping or slowing down. Hurry into the Acura Summer Performance event going on now. Owners of select competitive vehicles can lease a 2019 RDX for $379 a month. Welcome back. Time now, 616, and we turn now to breaking news out of China, where 32 people are dead and 60 more missing after Typhoon Lekima made landfall Saturday morning. According to state media, it happened around 745 Hawaii time and caused a landslide, which in turn backed up a river before vic victims were swept away. More than 1 million people were evacuated before the storm struck, and according to officials, this is the ninth typhoon to hit the country this year. And just to see how powerful that those two typhoons are, Lake Hima and Krosa, you can definitely see that a lot of that energy will continue to just make that ripple effect in the Northwest Pacific and that energy moving over closer to the Hawaiian Islands Monday through Friday. So our west facing shores will start to see just a bit of elevation. Closer to home today, we're tracking on our Doppler radar, a lot of cloud coverage for Hawaii Island and also a lot of heavy showers just west of Kailua Kona. So a lot of instability will continue for today there. That's why our winds are pretty much swept up there and giving us some southwesterly winds for Kailua Kona. High pressure system toward the northeast will re-deliver those winds today about 5 to 15 miles per hour. But we have this surface trough, as you can see, lifting up our winds just a little bit, keeping our trades under 
under 15 miles per hour. So that will continue for today as well. Higher humidity levels for the western half, making our temperatures feeling just a bit warmer. Our winds right now, 7 for Lihue, 6 for Honolulu, as well for Kailua Kona, just averaging under 15 miles per hour. Calm this morning. We'll start off with a dry morning, partly cloudy conditions rolling through the day for our Kauai. Windward showers making its way through our Oahu. And then we'll, again, some cloud covered pockets of sunshine, more so for the leeward side. Maui County, we do have some high clouds there. Some pockets of showers as well, Ulupalakua as well as Hana, but not expecting a lot of rain, just some partly cloudy conditions. And again, pockets of sunshine more so by the afternoon. And we are seeing for our Hawaii Island a lot of instability. So a lot more rain making its way for Hilo Hawaii this morning. And then just cloudy conditions throughout the day. So for the south, 3 to 5, flat to 2 for the north, and 2 to 4 for the west. Now here's a look at your sports with Cody Krupp. <laughs> So last August, for the first time in a decade, a team representing the great state of Hawaii won the Little League World Series championship. So a moment in Williamsport, Pennsylvania that grasped the hearts of the state as Honolulu Little League brought the title back to the 808. So this team on Maui just one step away from their own chance to play in the Little League World Series. I'm Cody Croft, and welcome to sports. So the Central East Maui squad out of Wailuku in the championship game of the West Region, and also out of Wailuku, the flying Hawaiian himself. That is Shane Victorino. He was in the house, the former MLB great. So a win, and they're going to have a date in Williamsport. Arizona needs base runners to have a chance down to their last down. A ground ball to second. Backhand, Eva Murray to first. And look out, Williamsport. The Hawaiians are coming back to Pennsylvania. So mission accomplished. Central East Maui Little League can officially make their travel plans from Wailuku to Williamsport, Pennsylvania. In the West Finals, knocked out Arizona 4-1. Jared Pasquale, the home run. That was a third inning, three-run bomb to put those flying Hawaiians in the driver's seat. And they're pretty hard to beat when you make plays like this. Look at this from Branson Hong, a top 10 nominee indeed. And they got a great start on the mound. A complete game, two hitter from Logan Kuloa. That's guys, Nick the Sandman, and while well, he would turn his hips and watch it fly high into the San Bernardino sky, you could say goodbye, get up and get out of here. Central East Maui, they're going to be getting up and out on their way to that Little League World Series, which starts August 16th against Louisiana. Only the second team on Maui to do so last came in 1991. Congratulations. The Raiders of Iolani visiting Moana Lua for the first time in program history. And this one, a mystery to the final whistle. R.J. Javar, the missile to Cyrus Domingo. So third quarter, 16-7. Not many Hune, but those Raiders not rolling over. Brock Idani looking like, well, what's his name? Houdini? Yeah, Houdini, the magician, because poof, there he was gone. Catch me if you can. Made it 16-14, and Brody Logan Bettelina then getting loose. A little scoot there for 23 yards, and Iolani took the lead 2016, but the Namane Hune got a safety, so went from down four to down just two, and then a walk-off football style, 27 yards out, true and through from Griffin Modis. So what a throw that was. Moana Lua comes back to win it 21-20 over Iolani. Second and goal. Stick the head. Ball came out. Final minute of the half, and after a long Red Raider drive, the scoreboard finally came alive. Zeeland Mataji, the touchdown. At least that's what they gave it to him. So that gave 7 0 lead on Kamehameha, but very questionable. You can see it. I think it went out before the goal line, but they will take it. Early second half with a one score lead. This would be all they would need. No question about it. No if ands, buts about it. Frisco Abeao, the interception, 56 yards to the house. Haven't lost the Warriors since 2009 and wasn't happening Saturday night despite a great late effort from Kamehameha as they win 21-13. Lele Hua trying to go 2-0 for the first time since 2014, hosting Kailua. Not missing a beat. That was a treat to Jonathan Vasquez. A 33-yard touchdown, and well, then on the ground, it was Kale Akaji who just threw the touchdown, then he sneaks it in there, so 14-0 in the half. Kailua not catching any breaks. That would have been their first touchdown of the year, but instead, it was coming back, and there was no other scoring in the second half, so finishes 14-0. The Mules make it 8-9 out of nine against the Surfriders. 
And finally, it is Kalani taking on Kalaheo. And yeah, last year they beat the Falcons, but it was a different story. Jake lead the TD for Kalani. And the national Nathaniel Balachitao, little turn and burn. And yeah, they did a little damage through the air. Logan Lim to Noah Sam. And that yeah, it was looking like a Dodge Ram bouncing off. It would be defenders. This team, they could be contenders. 2-0. Oh, they go for the first time since 2029 to 8 the final. And that is it for sports here. Broadway in Hawaii welcomes Phantom of the Opera to Honolulu. Tickets on sale now. See the phenomenal new production of the world's greatest love story, The Phantom of the Opera. Experience this haunting love story now at the Blaisdell Center through September 1st. Tickets at broadwayandhawaii.com. You wouldn't accept an incomplete job from anyone else. Why accept it from your allergy pills? Flonase relieves your worst symptoms, including nasal congestion, which most pills don't. Flonase helps block six key inflammatory substances. Most pills only block one. Flonase. Mattress Firm's flashback sale ends Tuesday. Save up to $400 on throwback deals. And Wednesday through Sunday only, take home a free adjustable base. Up to a $6.99 value, absolutely free. Hurry in, your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. From beloved family, neighbors, and friends, to celebrated musicians, honored veterans, and first responders. From the beautiful Ko'olau Mountains to Kaneohe Bay, this is a place where memories, like the views, go on forever. Hawaiian Memorial Park, cemetery and funeral services. So you're ready to buy a new car. You know what you want, but not where to get it. You could start by going here, then here, and even here. But by then, the entire day's nearly gone. Or you can save time and go straight to Hawaii's Auto Mall in Waipio and compare hundreds of vehicles in one location. Think of all the time you'll save. Time you can spend enjoying your new car rather than shopping for it. Get your next car at the Tony Group Autoplex Waipio and experience the difference. Mattress Firm's flashback sale ends Tuesday. We're celebrating the year we were founded with a special price from 1986. A flashback price of $169 on a new Sleepy's Queen mattress. Plus, save up to $400 on throwback deals. Your budget stretches further at Mattress Firm. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 625. A sweet plan gets an even sweeter reward. That's right. Jamie Warren shows us how one Arizona girl's simple plan to make a difference in her community turned into an even bigger project to give back to those in need. <laughs> Thank you so much, sweetie. Six-year-old Ellie Trich handing over cash to women and children in need. They don't have homes like in shelter and water like we do. Ellie, aware that others don't have all those necessities. She says it all the time. She says, we're so lucky. Decided to sell lemonade to raise money for the homeless. Her dad posting this message to their neighborhood Facebook page. My wife and I were just so touched by it that she wanted to help. Ellie told customers the lemonade was free. Free. But you can donate it. In just two hours, they received over $100. Majority of our women have um, homelessness issues uh, as a result of substance abuse. Kara Colbert helps these women, a lot of whom have kids, overcome addiction. I have been through the program. I'm a graduate. They live at the Changing Lives Center and go through a year-long program relying heavily on donations. As for where the money will go, there's been other projects like this one that'll help benefit kids. I think this money is going to go directly into our daycare. I would think that that would be the proper thing to do. It's always one thing to, to give, but then that's another thing to see the people that you're giving to. Jamie Warren, ABC 15, Arizona. Great story there, and that was Jamie Warren reporting. Well, an Arkansas community wants families burying loved ones in El Paso, Texas, and Dayton, Ohio to know that they're not alone. A funeral home in West Memphis created prayer books that residents could fill with personalized notes. It's a way to share their condolences with the families of the mass shooting victims hundreds of miles away. Some showed up to write messages by hand while others emailed in their thoughts. Our first initial thing was to bring the, uh, bring the ability for the people here in the Mid-South, here in the Delta, to say their goodbye. 
Now, the funeral home says many people in their community feel connected to those tragedies but can't attend the funerals in person. Those prayer books were mailed to funeral directors in Texas and Ohio on Friday. That's such, such a sweet effort there. And as I was mentioning to you online social media, it's a hashtag El Paso challenge. 11-year-old Ruben Martinez is encouraging others to do 22 random acts of kindness to honor those 22 lives. That's really cool. And after after the Vegas shooting, it was the same thing. The community kind of came together, and people from all over the country were, were sending stuff there. So it's kind of cool when they can uh, give back as well. That's right. Time now, 628. Your top morning headlines are coming up. We'll be right back right here on Good Morning Headlines. KITV 4 Island News, sponsored by Bank of Hawaii. Time offer that's opening up a world of travel. Apply for the Hawaiian Airlines Bank of Hawaii World Elite MasterCard. And if you're approved, you can earn up to 75,000 bonus Hawaiian miles after qualifying purchases. Plus, you get your first checked bag free on eligible bags and a one-time 50% off companion ticket. Earning up to 75,000 bonus miles can open doors all over the world. But the doors to this limited time offer will be closing soon. Apply at any Bank of Hawaii branch or online at boh.com slash card today. Hey. Really? Hi, guys. We like the gray. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Rogue and Altima. Hurry in for Model Year End Savings on our full line. Now, get 0.9% financing for 60 months on the 2019 Nissan Rogue. Hi, I'm Dr. Oz. Did you know the sunscreen you're using might not be giving you the protection you think? Many sunscreens actually have a lower SPF than what their label claims. Choose an SPF 30 or above to make sure you're actually hitting the recommended SPF of 15 for daily use. Remember, to reapply every two hours. Avino Positively Mineral Sunscreen for Sensitive Skin, Broad Spectrum SPF 50, featuring naturally sourced 100% zinc oxide, hypoallergenic and sweat and water resistant too. Ledge rocks so you can roll. Still your best choice for Michelin, BF Goodrich, and most of your tire needs. And if your brakes are breaking your bank, come into Lex Brody's and try our Fix Forever Brake Reline Special. Call 949 lex for your appointment or visit LexBrody's.com for Super Saver Specials and to set a Fast Pass appointment. A Fix Forever Brake Warranty, a four-year unlimited tire mileage warranty, and legendary customer service? Oh, these are just a few ways how Lex rocks so you can roll. Lex Brody's Tire Company. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now on Good Morning Hawaii, following the massive ice raid in Mississippi, the White House says they're going to be continuing conducting those kind of workplace raids. Plus, in the wake of back-to-back -back mass shootings, investigators are cracking down on potential threats. And what better place to spend those airline miles you've racked up than a nice trip here to Hawaii, right? Well, one man had a million of them, so we'll show you how many family members he was able to bring with him. Good morning, Hawaii. Time now, 6.30, and we begin this half hour in Washington. The White House is now telling Immigration and Customs Enforcement to conduct dozens of more immigration raids. Now, this all comes days after ICE conducted a massive immigration sweep in Mississippi that left hundreds of children separated from their parents. Melissa Rainey has a closer look, including ICE's efforts to gain access to collect some states' employment data. It's essentially child abuse. As experts weigh in on the impact immigration raids could have on young children, the White House is asking for more similar sweeps by immigration and customs agents. A senior immigration official tells CNN ICE has been instructed to conduct dozens more workplace raids. On Wednesday, nearly 700 undocumented immigrants were rounded up at seven meat processing plants in six Mississippi cities, separating hundreds of children from their parents on their first day back to school. <laughs> my dad didn't do nothing. He's not a criminal. Please, can I just see my mother, please? <laughs> please. I hope you come back. And that God protects you. And now, according to an immigration official, ICE instructed field offices across the country to identify at least two locations in their regions as potential targets. 
Meanwhile, New Mexico has denied a request from ICE to have direct access to the state's workplace data. And in Texas, the Mexican-American Legislative Caucus is launching an investigation into how much access ICE has to its state employment records. All this while the president defends ICE's operation. But if they come into the United States illegally, they're getting out. They're going to be brought out. And this serves as a very good deterrent. I'm Melissa Rainey reporting. 632, several arrests have been made over the weekend as investigators crack down on people threatening violence in the wake of back-to-back -back mass shootings. And as Whit Johnson explains, some were even caught making those threats over social media. This morning, the FBI warning Americans of a possible increase in hate crimes after several threats in the past week. Yesterday, police in New Haven, Connecticut, arresting 53-year-old Jeffrey Hansen, accused of posting a menacing Facebook message about a Puerto Rican festival. Elsewhere, two alleged white supremacists face charges for reportedly planning attacks. I have my Bushmaster AR-15 rifle. In Las Vegas, federal agents arresting 23-year-old Connor Climo. If there is a possibly very determined enemy, we have at least the means to deal with it. Climo, seen here in this 2016 video from affiliate KTNV, acting as a neighborhood crime fighter. Authorities say documents and messages indicate Climo recently wanted to blow up a synagogue or a gay bar. Investigators say he communicated with a dangerous neo-Nazi group. While searching his home, agents say they found illegal guns and bomb-making materials, as well as a notebook outlining plans for an attack. Once you start talking about actually harming people, then law enforcement can come after you. And in Florida, authorities citing an alarming Facebook post leading to the arrest of 26-year-old Richard Clayton. Investigators say the post read, three more days of probation left, then I get my AR-15 back. Don't go to Walmart next week. After recent deadly shootings across the country, America on watch. The FBI asking for the public's help to stop potential threats. It's been a dark week. For us in this country we've seen great loss and we've seen great tragedy and it breaks our hearts to see how this country that we love is torn apart that's why u.s congressman Tulsi gabbard accusing president trump of abusing his power to stoke fear, racism and bigotry for his political gain the comments came during a campaign stop in iowa she was talking about the matching that happened in texas and ohio last week and Gabbard also attended the gun safety forum. She and 18 other Democratic presidential candidates all called for gun control laws. So far, Senate majority it appears to bring it home from Manatees that had to be done at a man at Sheraton Waikiki Hotel earlier this week to be held on $200,000 a day. A four year old Dora Al Farouk was charged with terrorist and threatening Friday night. The man he's accused of shooting at was not injured, and police say co workers disarmed Al Farouk. Farouk is charged with use of a firearm and other gun-related charges. And in other news, convicted pedophile and accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein is dead by apparent suicide. But as Stephanie Ramos explains, a lot of people, including U.S. lawmakers, want to know how it could have happened while he was in federal custody. 
Multi-millionaire financier and accused sex trafficker Jeffrey Epstein is dead after an apparent suicide at a New York City jail, but his accusers still want justice. The 66-year-old was awaiting trial on federal charges accusing him of sexually abusing dozens of underage girls. He was likely going to go to jail for the rest of his life had he been convicted. But three weeks ago, he was put on suicide watch after being found unresponsive in his cell. ABC News has learned a week later he was taken off. Some of his accusers, like Michelle Licata, are angry at the news of his death. I never wanted anybody to die. Um, I just wanted him to be held accountable for his actions that um, he did. His death comes less than 24 hours after 2,000 pages of new documents were made public for the first time, with accusations leveled against Epstein and other prominent men. You're screaming on the inside and you don't know how to let it come out. All you do is obey. That's it. The 2015 defamation suit brought by Virginia Roberts Gouffre, now settled, was unsealed. The suit by her was against Ghislaine Maxwell, a longtime Epstein associate and British socialite. In court filings, Gouffre says that Maxwell recruited her while she was working as a locker room attendant in 2000 and was groomed to be a sex slave to Epstein, adding she was later directed by Maxwell and Epstein to have sex with many, quote, powerful men, including numerous prominent American politicians, powerful business executives, foreign presidents, and other world leaders. In deposition testimony included in the trove of documents, Gouffre alleges that she was directed to have sex with British royalty Prince Andrew, former governor and UN ambassador Bill Richardson, and the former influential senator from Maine, George Mitchell. All three men have strongly denied the allegations. In statements, both Mitchell and Richardson say they never met Ms. Gouffre. In an interview with the Miami Herald, Gouffre spoke of what Epstein and Maxwell would instruct her to do. Give Jeffrey what he wants. A lot of this training came from Guilin herself. It started with one and then it trickled into two and then before you know it, I'm being lent out to politicians and to academics and to people that you, royalty. Maxwell has not been charged with any crimes. She has consistently denied the allegations. Her lawyers writing that Gouffre had utterly failed to substantiate her patently incredible claims of being trafficked to well-known men. Gouffre's lawyer, who represents other alleged victims, says in a statement, the fact that Epstein took his own life within 24 hours of the unsealing of detailed documents is no coincidence. Stephanie Ramos, ABC News, New York. Thank you, Stephanie. And turning back here to the islands to your weather, this is a live look at Hilo from our camera over at the Hilo Hawaiian Hotel as the sun comes up over the big island. As the sun comes up, though, we've been breaking a lot of records. Tasia, are we going to stay on that level or calming down a little bit? We are expecting more heat for today and that beautiful uh -oh. scenery in Hilo. <laughs> Don't let looks deceive you. Very humid conditions continue to roll in, especially for our Hawaii island this morning. For our Kauai, we do have a disturbance just toward the north. That's continuing to keep our winds just a bit lighter, especially for the western half. Expecting up to 92 for the west side, mostly sunny throughout the day. And then for our Oahu, we are starting off with some cloudy conditions and then some afternoon clouds for the leeward and central spots. Maui County will be a bit breezier, more pockets of sunshine and temperatures up to 93 in Kahului. That's what we're expecting. And for our Hawaii Island, starting off with a lot of moisture on and off showers for Kailua Kona, some afternoon clouds for the leeward slopes. Hilo Hawaii starting off with those clouds and then later on throughout the day, some pockets of sunshine, but still very humid. We did get this photo by Donna Carey yesterday. Mahalo for that. And as you can see, she did write humid Hilo. So we were definitely braced for more of that weather for today, improving conditions by your next work week. This photo was sent in by Joanne or Joan. Mahalo for that. This is on an airplane of Mauna Kea. So beautiful shot that we're not used to seeing. Mahalo for that as well. If you are going hiking, Mahalo Paul for this. You can see the cloud coverage for Kaneohe. That will continue for your windward areas with the return of our trade winds. Showers will be enhanced more so by your next week. If not hiking, surfing still an option. Went to the beach yesterday and got burnt to two to four for the west, south three to five, one to three for the east, and flat to two for the north. Looking at your Sunday forecast, a sunny start with more afternoon clouds, isolated windward showers with some afternoon Hawaii Island rain and those light trade winds under 15 miles per hour. Tom to you.
And I'm still waiting for that surf lesson. Thanks, Tasia. <laughs> All right, well, when she started, her career choice was ruled by men. But when society told her women couldn't cut it in the world of graphic design, well, she proved them wrong. KTV4's Leui Koholokula shines some light on Momi Casamero, one of Hawaii's remarkable women. You know, he wanted something Hawaiian. Right. As a homegrown Hawaiian of Big Island's Hamakua Coast. I grew up in an environment where I was very close to my aunts and uncles, and of course my tutu lady and tutu man. Momi Casamero remembers Hanai life with her grandparents in Pepe Keo. Oh my God. For her, those were the good days. But also the start to some of the hardest years ahead following the death of her grandfather. She moved to Hilo with her parents and siblings at eight years old. Art was her outlet, a blossoming talent recognized by her teacher, a foreshadow of her future. It came at a time when it provided a kind of direction. Casamero eventually left the cane fields for Kapaa Lama, then went to college with her sights set on teaching. Guess what, I wanted to teach art. A change of heart and a change of direction came when Casimero met then University of Hawaii Manoa professor Kenneth Kingry. A mentor, she said, helped her realize her desire for design outweighed her intent to teach. Kingry gave me a reason and a place to go. I wanted to elevate the images and icons of Hawaii and Hawaiians. And I saw that potential in graphic design. Was it going to be hard? Yes. Did I want to do it in spite of it? Yes. Casimero recalls one of her earliest projects openly ridiculed, mocked by a manager of a publishing plant. But he said, I want you guys to look at this. The mix up these colors, it looked like shit. I am in this environment of men where there's a kind of abuse that negates the value of a woman. She used that moment to fuel her creative fire. When you overcome one, you can overcome the next. I'm Hawaiian, I'm a woman, and I was raised in the cane field. Hard work paid off. In 1972, Casimero founded the first female-owned graphic design firm, Graphic House. Well, I had to create a visual impression that denoted me as a business woman. Clients came in, and through the years, Casimero's reputation grew, leading her to land big accounts like Castle and Cook. Every piece she created through her career, precise and purposeful. When you're designing a logo, you must get to its essence. Not just a catalyst for creation, Casimero committed herself to her community, serving on the UH Board of Regents and the State Judicial Selection Commission. I wanted to be certain that I paved the way for other women to follow. I really considered that a responsibility. She's a woman who desired to design her own destiny. Momi Casimero, one of Hawaii's remarkable women. Le'u Ikaholokula, KITV4 Island News. Wonderful story there. Time now, 6.45. And it was the trip of a lifetime for one family, a grandfather taking his brood to Hawaii after racking up enough frequent flyer miles to whisk them all away. And when we say all, we mean dozens. Diane Macedo has the story. Family vacations often create special memories, but this grandfather's gift to his loved ones turned a getaway into a massive family reunion. Everybody give a big cheer because we just did something pretty impossible. Sam Pratt was able to take 33 family members to Hawaii for free after racking up more than a million frequent flyer miles. I couldn't think of a better gift to give than travel because not only do you get the travel, but you get the memories that go with that. While in Honolulu, the family, ranging in age from 2 to 72, celebrated birthdays, anniversaries, and a gender reveal party. When you have 33 people, you're celebrating something all the time. Plans for the trip came after Sam got some good news following a year-long battle with cancer. 
So when the doctor said um, the words remission um, and that he would be able to live with this type of cancer and then he got cleared to fly, we were just jumping up and down. The family says the trip has been a dream come true for everyone. Never in a million years did we think this would be possible. This is a dream. It truly, truly is. You beat cancer, then you bring 33 family members to Hawaii. That's amazing. Yeah. Hey, you know, like, you've earned it at that point, you know <laughs> what I mean? And then what better place to come than here, right? Mm -hmm. And that was Diane Macedo reporting time now, 647. With the trades picking up, that means enhanced windward showers rolling back in. Weather's next. Plus, as we get older, it can be harder to see. Diana Coe gets some advice on how to treat glaucoma coming up in this week's edition of Aging Well. Time now, 647. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Catch Island Sports with Brad Higa weeknights at 6 and 10 on KITV4. Card reward. Miles or cash? Give me the cash. Cash. Definitely cash. Miles expire. Cash does it. 2% cash back on purchases or mostly 1%? Um, 2%. 2%. Is this a trick question? Then there's unlimited rewards or lots of restrictions. I'll take unlimited. Unlimited? Unlimited all the way. Unlimited. Get the new 2% unlimited cashback card. That's 2% on purchases everywhere, every time. From American Savings Bank. Real life, real answers. It's the Honda Summer Spectacular event. That means more euphoric feelings that come from getting a great deal on a Honda CRV or HRV. Or from getting a pilot or passport. All part of 2019's best SUV brand. Hurry in today and experience the joy for yourself. Get a new Honda Passport, named best in class by Car and Driver at the Honda Summer Spectacular event. You know when you're at Ross and that cute dress gets even cuter? Yes! Or when you can say yes to both? Sure. Or when you find that brand at that price? Are you kidding me? Yeah. That's yes for less. And that's what Ross always has in store. Wow. Yes. Oh, yeah. It feels even better when you find it for less at Ross. Yes for less. I love my city, too. Well, my little Fujitsu girl is all grown up and off to college. Yeah, but I still love you, Dad. And I love my Fujitsu. It's Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Happy Sunday. Time now 649. Well, glaucoma is a group of diseases that damage the eye's optic nerve and it and leads to vision loss and blindness. But in this week's Aging Well, KITV4's Diana Ko shows us how a simple procedure can help many kupuna. Well, your stent looks great. Looks Carl Kakehi gets a clean bill of health in his eye exam today. He goes to the doctor regularly to see if his glaucoma is progressing. So glaucoma is a, a leading cause of blindness in the, the United States. Um, it affects about 2 or 3% of the population. Eye pressure is a major risk factor in glaucoma. Too much fluid in the eye can create that pressure. Two stents implanted in Kakehi's eye reduce fluid buildup. It bypasses the natural drain in the eye, so it bypasses any clogging in that drain to help lower the pressure. 80-year-old right. Kakehi says it was painless and fast. So the procedure was done in 15 minutes, so I went in and out of there, and I was kind of impressed. Look way down for me. The latest generation of stents are tiny, which doctors say is better. There are no sutures involved. Um, there's a much faster recovery, faster healing time, and because of that, much less risk involved. This is it right here, this tiny little black dot by my finger, just a little bit bigger than a grain of sand. It is the smallest known implantable medical device in the world. The recovery time is a week or two, compared to a month or two with the older generations of stents. Kakehi says he's grateful for the technology. Your standard of living, you know, you, you, want, it, you, want, you want it to be okay, and then the eyesight is so important. 
and keep looking straight ahead. Kakehi says he has a lot to look forward to now that he's taking care of his vision. Diana Ko, KITV4 Island News. Thanks, Diane. And the FDA approved that stent to be implanted during cataract surgery. Many insurance providers actually cover the cost of that surgery. Pretty interesting. All right, well, we want to switch gears and turn to weather. We've been breaking records left and right, hopefully, uh, and you said it might actually continue, right? That's right, Tom, but we are going to start off with breaking news out of India, where at least 114 people are dead and more than a dozen missing as heavy monsoon rains continue to batter several parts of the country. According to the state government release, 57 people died due to floods and landslides in the southern Kerala state. Reports show that more than 165,000 displaced people are living in 1,300 relief camps across the state and hundreds of houses have been damaged. Extensive rescue and relief operations are still underway. So we'll continue to track our aloha to India. Closer to home, we're taking a look at your cloud and rain forecast for the next 24 hours. And as you can see, we're still dealing with some partly cloudy conditions. Pockets of sunshine will also roll through, but we do have a lot of moisture just north of Kauai. That's going to continue not to definite, not to give us any rain, but more so increase our humidity levels just a bit for the western half, as well as interrupt that wind pattern. So our trays will still be rather light coming in from the east about 10 to 15 miles per hour this system here that's going to keep our winds light as that continues to break apart we'll have stronger trade winds by your tail end of your next work week high temperatures at the moment now we're at 81 for honolulu 80 for kaneohe 81 as well for kailua kona we're expecting today 86 to 91 in tonight's lows it's also going to feel just a bit humid more humidity right here across Maui County and Hawaii Island now. That will clear up throughout the day and then some partly cloudy conditions uh, throughout your afternoon for leeward and interior spots. Kailua Kona will see some cloudy conditions for the next few hours. Our winds coming in light under 15 miles per hour. Right now, seven in Lihue as well as Kahului. Our forecast of our winds again sticking around and strengthening by your midweek, next work week, all the way throughout the tail end, up to 25 miles per hour. So we'll definitely look forward to that. So our forecast for the south, three to five, two to four for the west. We've got high tide around 213 later this evening or afternoon. Our extended forecast showing those partly cloudy conditions lasting into your Sunday and Monday. We'll see you right after the break right here on Good Morning Hawaii. KITV4 Island News, sponsored by Poncho's Solar Service to harness the sun, Poncho's number one. Did you know that HECO's rates are continuing to go up? Did you know that federal tax credit for solar is going down soon? Did you know that Ponchos can build you an outback off-the-grid system with average savings between $100 to $400? Larger systems are available. Did you know that Ponchos can build you a customized battery system for your home that can fit your needs and your budget? Did you know that you can start small and expand? Now you know. Poncho Solar, locally owned and trusted statewide. Hey. Really? Hi, guys. We like the gray. It's car buying season at Nissan's Bottom Line Model Year End Event. Get the bottom line on the last of our 2019s, like the Tech Advanced Road and Altima. Hurry in for Model Year End Savings on our full line. Now, save up to $1,500 on the 2019 Nissan Kicks. Financial Federal Credit Union. Through all of life's milestones, we're here for you for life. Personal injury is what we do. We're going to take care of everything. Our promise to you is that we'll be in the recovery with you.
Welcome back. Time now, 656. Well, four sisters given up for adoption separately have now been reunited after spending their lives not even knowing about each other. They're now finally together. And as Vince Garasoli explains, the happy reunion was thanks to an online DNA test. We keep pinching each other because we can't believe it. The ladies in this quartet we don't like shoes, no, no. are a brand new sister act. When you see that they look like you, there's no denying they're your sisters. Though they've been around for decades. All tan. I always wondered why. Yeah, we're all tan. They're amazed by their many similarities. We both have scoliosis. We both had both of our knees replaced. And we have identical bunions. You see, each was put up for adoption at birth, never knowing the others existed. This is my first time I'm meeting my sisters yeah. in 70 years. It shows close matches. An online DNA test brought them together in just the past few months. There's another match. And though Jennifer Tomsevic from nearby St. John, Jody Rubble Castle from Tampa, Florida, Tammy Harris from Scottsdale, Arizona, and Fran Whidden from Cedar Bluff, Alabama have a lot in common, look closely and you'll notice a big difference. It's their ages. Jennifer is 53, Jody is 55, Tammy is 69, and Fran is 70. Their birth parents apparently never married and had an on-again, off-again relationship that lasted for years. Joseph Burba and Helen...